here's what I want to understand. is a counterintelligence investigation that led to the interview. You didn't authorize the interview. As a matter of fact, you wanted to go to the White House and tell them about the problem, didn't you? That's right. I did. I thought that that was the more immediate issue. And when you when, when you heard about the interview, you got upset, didn't you? I was upset that Director Comey didn't coordinate that with us and acted unilaterally. Yes, I was. Okay. Did Comey go rogue? Then you could use that term, yes. Yeah, and I would never knowingly sign a document. Right. I, I didn't do that in the 27 years. I, I believe you didn't thing. know. I believe you didn't know that what you signed was wrong. The question is, if you had known, you wouldn't have signed it. Is that correct? No, if I had known that it contained incorrect information, I, I certainly wouldn't have signed it. Thank you. And do you agree with me it did contain incorrect information? I, I know that now based on the Horowitz report. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that you lied to the court. I'm saying you signed something that was a lie and you didn't know Read it. the Horowitz report, Ms. Sheets? I, I did. Were you shocked by it? I certainly was shocked, yes. Uh, I, I think that the conduct that was reflected there... So let's was, talk about that conduct right quick. We're talking about using a document that came from a Russian subsource to get a warrant against an American citizen repeatedly that was full of garbage. Does that bother you? Well, I'm not sure that I Does it bother you that the FISA court rebuked the Department of Justice and the FBI regarding the Carter, Carter Page warrant application? Senator, I believe that the Department of Justice and the FBI have a duty of candor with the FISA court. That Do you believe they fulfill that duty? No, I do not believe that they did. I okay. think that there were... As a matter of fact, a you signed that record. warrant application in October and January. Is that correct? That's right. Knowing now, knowing then what you know now, would you sign that application? Senator, I would never sign any document. So I take that to be no, because that document was a fraud. Is that a fair statement? If you knew then what you know now, you wouldn't have signed it? I wouldn't sign anything that I knew to contain errors or omissions. Well, did that contain errors and admissions? Yeah, and I would never knowingly sign a document. Right. I, I didn't do that in the 27 years. I, I believe you didn't bank. know. I believe you didn't know that what you signed was wrong. The question is, if you had known, you wouldn't have signed it. Is that correct? No, if I had known that it contained incorrect information, I, I certainly wouldn't have signed it. Thank you. And do you agree with me it did contain incorrect information? I, I know that now based on the Horowitz report. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that you lied to the court. I'm saying you signed something that was a lie and you didn't know it.